This is Bruce Bishop for ChronicleT.com. I'm here once again with Tim Alcorn from AM930 WEOL. How are you doing, Tim? I'm doing well, Bruce. How are you? Good. We have a busy week, so let's get right to it. First of all, where are we at? We are at Corks and Stubbies in Amherst, the uh, Five Corners in Amherst. It's great to be here. Hard to believe this is the fourth week that we've been shooting the, uh, the weekly video as far as high school football previews are concerned. So it's great to be back here at Corks and Stubbies. And obviously, uh, we encourage all who are watching this to make their way to downtown Amherst and check out Corks and Stubbies. So Tim, last week, unlike the first week when I said it was a good week, last week was a good week. Last week was a good week. There was some really good football games. Uh, of course, the one we had on WEOL.com, which ended up being on the radio for the fourth quarter and three overtimes. Uh, Avon somehow manages to overcome North Homestead and beat them in triple overtime, 41-40. to I can't remember the last time there was an individual performance like the one Avon running back Jared Choate put together last Friday night for the Eagles. 51 carries. I mean, there are running backs that don't get 51 carries in a season. And Jared Choate carried that ball 51 times for almost 300 yards for Avon last night or last Friday night. So they go to 3-0. and And, of course, uh, the huge showdown game now coming up Friday night with the Midview Middies, who are also 3-0 and on the year. Uh, they really shellacked Amherst. Another great performance by their quarterback. And, of course, uh, Dustin Crum. And, of course, their wide receiver, Logan Bolin, Dimitri Redwood, Damian Mahone. They've got weapons all over the place. Uh, Midview Avon should be a phenomenal game this Friday night. I know we're going to talk about it here in just a moment, but uh, Avon, Midview, Elyria, and Columbia are now the only four 3-0 and teams in the county. Uh, Elyria with a relatively easy win over Shaw, and Columbia had to hang on for dear life. They were uh, winning big going into the fourth quarter. Northwestern made a great comeback, almost overtook Columbia, but Columbia got the win to go to 3-0, and and they're going to have a pretty good tussle on their hands this week when they take on Brookside. You know, last year, the name we seemed to mention almost every week was McCall, and I'm kind of beginning to notice that Choate is the name that we're talking about a lot. Jared Choate is a very special running back. I know Avon head coach Mike Elder has been talking about him for the past couple of years, saying there are some great running backs in Lorain County, but don't overlook my guy. And uh, you, you think, well, that's coaches speak. But Jarrett got hurt last year, uh, so really didn't get to perform at 100%. But so far this year, he has just been lights out. Now, I'm not sure uh, when he finally got rested to get ready for the game <laughs> against Midview on Friday night. Man, when you carry the ball 51 times in one game, uh, that's toting the leather quite a bit. But, hey, he's young. He'll bounce back, and I'm sure uh, he'll be ready to go on Friday for the huge ball game against the Middies. That sounds great. Okay, so we've got that big game. What else is coming up, and where are you guys going to be? Well, of course, we've got Midview Avon. Uh, that should just be uh, the game of the night, uh, not only in Lorain County, but probably uh, in the northern part of the state. Uh, two epic matchups last year in the regular season, and then, of course, in the playoffs. So, you know, I don't know what more fans could ask for than the rematch they're going to see on Friday night over at Avon. But, yeah, there are some intriguing matchups. I mentioned that Columbia-Brookside game. Brookside is now 2-1 and one on the season. That should be a good contest. You mentioned Demario McCall with North Ridgeville. He made his debut last week, but he really ran into a stone wall as far as that Berea Midpark defense was concerned. So they'll try to get him rolling Friday night when they take on Olmstead Falls. That should be a real good ball game in the SWC. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how these games play out. Uh, another one that I would certainly keep an eye on, uh, Firelands and Clearview. Firelands got a great performance last week from their quarterback, Brad Thrasher. They have shut out two straight opponents. So uh, the Firelands defense is playing very, very well. Now their defense will have their hands full on Friday night. Clearview, of course, has one of the premier players in Lorain County and their wide receiver, uh, Lance Billings. He's Iowa bound already. So uh, I don't know if Firelands will make a, uh, a third straight shutout happen on the defensive side of the ball, but I'll tell you what, uh, so far in the last couple of games, uh, they have really shut opponents down. And of course, uh, high school football gets started Thursday night this week. Uh, Elyria Catholic will be at Valley Forge. In fact, we'll have that game Thursday night on WEOL. Panthers looking for their third straight win of the year. They got a big win uh, last Friday night. Uh, they got a very nice win when they beat a perennial tough team in Mogador. Uh, another great game from their running back, Darrell Davis. So obviously uh, the Panthers hope to keep their momentum going on Thursday night. That sounds great. Okay, so we've teased it and teased it and teased it for the last <laughs> couple of weeks. Let's kind of break down a little bit on the big game this week, Avon Midview. How do you see things going? 
what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses that the other team might be working against? Well, last year, uh, and probably two of the greatest high school football games I ever saw. Uh, the regular season contest was just phenomenal over at Midview, and then of course uh, the playoff contest that they uh, engaged in over at North Royalton was even even better. Those two games were high-scoring games. You're looking at offenses here that can just put points on the board. Uh, of course, we've talked uh, during the first few weeks of the year about Dustin Crum, the Midview quarterback, and and the bevy of weapons that he has. We were talking earlier. Uh, in the shoot here about uh, Jared Choate, the running back for Avon. He's a very special back. They've got a Division I quarterback in their own right in Jake Sopko. So uh, I think either coach will tell you, yes, we're going to give up points to the other team. They're not naive. They're not going to shut the other team out. But I think both D.J. Shaw of Midview and, of course, uh, Mike Elder, one of the great coaches in Lorain County, if not the state of Ohio, would both say, we don't want to get into a shootout where it's just going up and down and up and down the field. I think uh, both teams – you know, readily admit the fact we're going to give up some points, but I don't think they want to see this game get up into the 40s. Uh, both coaches, I think, would be happy if this game was in the 30s and the 20s. We'll see if it plays out that way. When you've got so many weapons on both sides of the ball, uh, you could have a lot of points being scored on Friday night. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to this one. Those those games last year, that, that really was special. It, it certainly was. They, they were great, great ball games, and uh, – We'll see who's going to come out on top. You're going to ask me for a prediction? Oh, Tim, of course I'm going to ask you for a prediction. <laughs> My absolute favorite part of doing this yeah. is pinning you down on, on the prediction. So how do you see it going? Well, here's what I'm thinking. Oh, look at this. <laughs> now, you know, I went to Midview, Bruce. You know I'm a Midview guy. I do know that. So I had to wear my Midview hat. But... You know, you got Avon. So you got Midview, you got Avon. I'm thinking we should just go with Midvon. <laughs> no. Very nice. Listen to the man on the radio. Get out to these games because seriously, this is going to be some probably some of the best football of the whole year. So I'm looking forward to it. And if you're going to Avon, uh, number one, get there very, very early. And then, uh, you know, proudly wear your colors, no matter what they may be. Well played, <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Always a pleasure, Bruce. <laughs>